All right, let's check in with Steven. Yeah, those temperatures are beautiful, but still, you know, a concern for those hikers or anyone who's yes. hitting the trails, especially if you're not from here and you don't mm -hmm. know what to expect. Yeah, if you have any friends or family visiting and they're seeing Camelback Mountain thinking they can hike it, just make sure they're really prepared. Remember, bring plenty wow. of water if you're hitting those trails. But yeah, let's talk about the weather right now. This is the view of Chandler. We're talking clear skies. It is going to be a calm night across the state of Arizona. Right now we're at 62 degrees here in Phoenix. Sedona is at 46, 36 in Flagstaff. Page, you're at 48 degrees. Window Rock, 40. We have Winslow at 46 and Sholo at 41 degrees. But let's talk about tomorrow morning and it's going to be a pretty chilly start. We're talking 43 degrees as our low in Phoenix. Tempe is going to get to 45, 43 for Scottsdale, 41 in Deer Valley. There'll be some places in the 30s. Look at Anthem. They're going to be at 39 degrees tomorrow morning, 43 for Peoria. Let's go ahead and look up north for the lows. Flagstaff getting down to 23. The Grand Canyon 16, Page 33. Tuba City getting to 29 and Winslow getting to 30 degrees for the morning. So let's switch back to the first alert radar because I want to point out a system that's going to pass through the state tomorrow. Right now it's calm. It is quiet. Don't worry about any rain or snow whatsoever. But as we start to get into the overnight hours into Monday, we'll start seeing this system. It's a very weak system. We're not tracking anything too big from it, but one thing it will bring is just a light dusting of snow for some of the mountain areas like Pace and Flagstaff, Window Rock. Page may see uh, just some light flurries as well. But as that system continues to push on to the southeastern part of the state for the valley, it's going to leave us with some breezy winds on Monday and slightly cooler temperatures for Monday and Tuesday. We're talking 67 degrees as our high for tomorrow, so finally dropping out of the 70s. But there'll be plenty of sunshine as well, and I know everyone's asking, what can we expect for the Super Bowl? But before we get to next weekend, let's talk about, we already talked about Monday, let's talk about Tuesday. Got a few more clouds rolling on through as highs will be in the upper 60s. But then on Wednesday and Thursday, the WM Open, we're talking 73 degrees, excuse me, sunny skies. Weather is going to be amazing. And then, of course, the big game this upcoming weekend. We're talking 76 degrees on Saturday. Then another system will pass through the state. It's going to be another weak system as it'll drop temperatures into the low 70s. We'll see a few clouds, but overall mostly sunny. So Super Bowl Sunday, it's shaping up to be an awesome day. And that's a look at your first alert forecast. Truly really a perfect forecast. All right, thank you, Stephen. Coming up.